hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video very exciting so tomorrow morning very very early we are getting up to go to our first nsea competition obviously i was meant to go with the archie like two years ago but then obviously all the lockdowns and everything happened so then we didn't and then of course last one i was meant to it snowed so then it got re rescheduled to this day so for today's video um I've decided to wear the mulberry so Monty can match with Cooper. Let's put all this stuff in the car. So we've got the hoof oil, we've got the bucket with ease and his boots in, we've got my hat bag and with my hat and gloves in, and then I've got his bum sheet. And under there, there is my bib numbers my body protector because it's arena eventing some spare water uh my bridal bag with my whip in uh the saddle pad which is mulberry girth saddle half pad my boots and that's all i use for arena eventing oh monty what's this the hay express there you go. Oh, some more hay. It's a very green hay, isn't it? So, Dad, what are we doing tonight? Tonight, we're, we're keeping Monty in tonight. because He's got an early start tomorrow. So we're going to leave the yard at quarter past seven to get to uh, Eland so that we can do the course walk ready for the NSEA competition. So lots of work the night before, ready for tomorrow. Yes. See you in the morning, Monty. Hey, Mr. Mont. Hello. Very early in the morning, isn't it? It's still pitch black, isn't it? Oh, you're a bit sleepy. Have you just woken up? So I've picked out his feet, brushed his mane and everything. But I've got my lovely show kit here with my hash brushes in. So, should we give you an ice cream? It can be even more shiny. Yes? He doesn't like early mornings, don't you? He don't. You don't like them? Look at that shine! Oh, you're a handsome pony, aren't you? Oh, you've got that worried look. You don't need to. You like going out. He's like, it's still dark. I don't like it. I know, it's dark, but you still got to go out. He doesn't like traveling in the dark. He's like, everything's scary. Go on then, let's load you up. Shall we start tacking you up, Monty? Shall we? Well, here we are at Eland. Monty's all ready to go. Mossy's getting a last minute sandwich. That last minute energy boost. Yep. You looking forward to it? Yes, very. What's the, what's the aim, Mossy? Stay on. I'd love to go clear, but shh, wood. Yeah. Well, we'll touch base later.
Lottie here about to tell you kind of what's happened because I know you're watching the last video and so you're thinking that's not really meant to happen it's not but in the first round we did like really good you know but the one poll we had down is because it was like a really not very nice dog leg you know because the way you're facing you're going to another jump and then you're just quickly turning and lots of people cutting the corner you know to try and make it and then the pony either refusing the jump or having a pole so i took it a little bit wider and he just dropped he just dropped deep to it not his fault but we did end up getting fifth i had to check them um yeah in our first nsea competition because we were the closest time with the four faults so that's really good on to the second round it really was a day of highs and lows of horses so the striding for competition like is a lot of the time not very nice because you know they have to fit horses and ponies in so for ponies I've measured it out and it's like two and a half so then Monty he thought he was like this he, he went and then he didn't want one leg so he went like he went and then he was like, oh no, I forgot about this leg. And then he went and then he dropped the pole, pole wrapped around his leg. Exactly the same thing that happened last time. And he just went down. Like, we are both absolutely fine. We got up straight away. He, he was fine. He rolled out the way for me. So that's kind of sweet, I guess. Um, yeah, but I'm going to tell you about the plan that we did for his like, aftercare all the little all so we came so obviously we washed his legs off there you know get cold onto them and and then we went back to the yard i put annika gel annika gel on his legs and then also gave him half a sachet of butte in his feed and then he was turned out in the field he didn't he didn't stay in his stable so he could just stretch out and stretch his muscles and everything and he stayed on his same routine the whole couple of weeks so then first uh and also annika gel is sort of gel that uh brings out the swelling and sort of like the hotness if they had a bad fall or something like that and we basically put it on his legs a bit of his neck and some basically where he fell and then, okay, first week of it, uh, we, like, in his feed, he had Butte and Annika, uh, like, little things, tablets, uh, twice a day, so half a sachet in a feed and 15 of these little tablets. So, and he was on Butte and Annika for about five days-ish. So then it was one week had passed of him not being ridden and he was getting kind of grumpy. So then we were like, all right, we'll slowly uh, start like, you know, walking around and stuff. So we started walking around the yard, like in the fields. And, and these past couple of days, we have started to go on long hacks and we are now introducing trot, which he is absolutely fine with. For the first four days he was lame but it was more like stiff like he was just you could tell he was just like stiff from his muscle 
Yeah. And we are slowly just increasing it because because he has done very well in these past couple of weeks. I don't I don't want to push it. So I was just like, oh, you, you can have these. Those two weeks are sort of like a mini break holiday sort of thing. So I wasn't really worried. I was like, it's fine. He's easy going anyway. So and it'll just take and it'll just mean for the information I've given him to consolidate in his brain. So yeah, he is doing very well. Um, he's enjoying it a bit more because he doesn't like breaks. He gives you the angry like eyes and just he's just a little bit grumpy. So I can't blame him. He just likes his work. Um, and then also our amazing sponsor Katie Clark came out and like gave him a little massage. And he, yeah, he was very good. He's just a little bit tense on his right neck and then a little bit on his bum, which leads you to the next thing I'm going to say. And then also a week ago, we had our saddle fitter come out for their six month check checkup. And now Archie's, his withers have actually grown a little bit. So now he's got bigger withers. Yeah, that's good. He didn't have much, many anyway, much of them anyway. So now his saddle is a-okay, so that's good. And then Monty's, he's built up more muscle on the right side. So he's got, don't quote me on this because I can't remember if it is true. The right, what? The right front side and then the left back side. So this underneath the saddle and then the half pad, there's just a little bit pad padding until he gets the muscle even out. So now both their saddles are okay. So that's good because I didn't really want to buy a new one. Not really. So yeah. And uh, Monty is now fine. He's happy. And there is a lot of interesting vlogs. But it was an interesting uh, day for our first NSEA one. You know, because we were meant to do it all the way back in the start of 2020. But then, you know, uh, the world decided it had other plans, didn't it? So I really hope you have enjoyed this video and please give it a big thumbs up.